Hello everyone. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Let's, yes. So for today's video, it is a full face of all 2019 Holy Grails. For me i just i i freaking love so for today's video that's what we're going to be focusing on today there's some products that uh i will be mentioning that i'm not using on my face today because some of my favorites are going to be like cream versions of it liquid versions of it and then powder versions of it but nonetheless everything on my face is holy girl items products that i love i recommend i really hope y'all can try in this new year coming up if you guys see anything that is also your holy grail for this year please let me know i just want to know if I'm, I'm not the only one um comment down below i would be very grateful if you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and connect with me on instagram at tiff by tiffany and let's get the show on the road okay so for my first 2019's favorite is, okay, so I have two. I know that Future Dew is not targeted as a primer, but I've really been loving it as such. It is just such a good primer. <laughs> um, but it's also the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I've really been loving this as well for the year of 2019. I mean, as you can tell, I'm pretty much like almost done. Today's look, I'm going, I'm going to go more for like a dewy skin as always. I'm going to put my hair back. So I'm going to use the Future Dew For today. This has just been, I love it. Let that dry. So I have two 2019 favorites when it comes to foundation actually I have three so when it comes to full coverage foundation my number one this year since it launched in July I believe is the dose of colors uh, meet your hue foundation I am the shade 122 medium tan I do think that this is a shade too dark for me at the moment I got this in the summer I was quite tan this summer my second favorite is the Milk Foundation, the Flex Foundation Stick. I'm in the shade Golden Honey. This has also been a holy grail this year. And last but not least, when it comes to more like tinted moisturizer stuff, it is definitely the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. This one is in the shade number 7. I've loved, loved, loved this. This goes very well with the Future Dew. Together, they create a beautiful finish and coverage. For today's look, though, I think I'm just going to... I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. Flex Foundation. I always say concealer. Um, just because I want a little bit more coverage today. And like I mentioned, the Dose of Colors one's a little too dark. Um, so I'm just going to... Since I'm using this one specifically, I've really been loving the coverage of this foundation it matches me perfectly as well i also find that this foundation works for both dry and oily skin people and it also just blends so nicely I'm just gonna go in with this has been my favorite 2019 beauty sponge this one is by a dose of colors I got it at their pop-up shop that they did in Los Angeles in Beverly Hills when she launched the Meet Your Hue Foundation. You got a free sponge. My favorite color corrector of 2019 is definitely the Live Tinted um, Hue Stick in the shade Rise. I'm just going to put a little bit right here in the corner of my eyes and then I'm gonna do it on my eyelids and with my ring finger just gonna blend it out a little bit lip tinted has really been one of my favorite products of 2019 not only just not only as a color corrector but as lipstick as cheeks um, like blush um, and a color corrector 
It's a genius, genius product. And it is Clean Beauty as well. For concealer, I do have two different favorite uh, Holy Grail concealers. My number one definitely being the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue uh, concealer. And then the second one, a drugstore version of it, which is a CoverGirl True Blend Undercover. Love both of them. Uh, for today's look, I will be using the CoverGirl. Um, I am in the shade T300 Warm Honey. And I'm just going to go one by one. All right. So for setting powder, nothing's changed. I think this has been my holy grail or was my holy grail last year for 2018. That is the Hourglass True Veil. Is it True Veil? It's just a veil translucent setting powder. The reason I love this powder so much it really, really helps prevent my concealer, it doesn't matter what concealer I use, from creasing. Also what I like about it is that it is translucent. A lot of other translucent powders, especially on brown skin, tend to leave a white overcast. Um, and that is very, very annoying. So this is really good for both setting under eyes and then setting your entire face. My favorite face powder of 2019, I think she launched it this year, is the Elsie Cosmetics setting powder. I use the shade Medium. I have almost hit pan on it. I love, love this setting powder. Um, it ha I don't know what she's done with the formula that keeps that gorgeous glow and whatever blend of colors that she's used so there's four different shades depending on your hue your your t uh, your skin tone um, I use medium for that reason because it's good for my skin tone but when you blend it all in it just creates a gorgeous one shade for your skin but you can also use this right over here to set the under eye which I've used great you can also use these two to um, bronze up the skin as well. So this is such a great multi-use powder. And like I said, the formula she used for this is just amazing. For the eyebrow, my 2019 favorite, I think they launched this to this year as well, is the Hourglass um, Micro Sculpting Pencil. I use the shade Dark Brunette. I just really like this because of course, I like that it comes with a spoolie, but it is so thin and it's not too creamy where it slides right off. And it just fills in my brows so beautifully and it stays on too, which is very important. All right, and then to set my brows was between the Hourglass one and the Glossier Boy Brow, and Glossier Boy Brow took the crown for brow gels. I used the shade brown. This just sets the brow so beautiful, and it stays up. So if I leave it like this, nice and fluffy, and the hair is facing up, it will stay like that the entire day. We're going to move on to eyeshadow. So I have a couple favorites when it comes to consistencies. I have a favorite liquid eyeshadow, a favorite cream eyeshadow, and a favorite eyeshadow palette. I'm going to start off with the liquid. My favorite liquid for this year is from Kosas Cosmetics. My favorite shade is the Element. So this is their 10 second eyeshadow. I adore this product. You have seen it in my Full Face of Kosas, which I will link down below, and then on my um, last video for using the Astronaut shade. Beautiful. So I don't feel like I need to continue to reiterate why I love this so much, but Element is my favorite shade. When it comes to cream shadows, Rowan Beauty takes the stand. She takes the crown. I can open it. Looks like so. Beautiful, beautiful freaking product this is like it's like a cream to powder like finish when it comes to an eyeshadow palette this just came out in 2019 
but it is so beautiful that it just takes a crown over all the palettes that I have and that have come out this year that I bought. That is the Tati Beauty Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. Everything you need is in this palette. Everything. Neutrals, color, if you need more of like a sultry night out, this one, you have ugh, everything. And then you have all the uh, different consistencies. You have glitter, you have metallics, you have a satin finish, and then you have your mattes at the bottom. So this is just, have been my holy grail of palettes for any look. So for today's look though, I'm going to go in with the Rowan Beauty. I do have a full face of Rowan Beauty. I will also link that down below showing you how I use it and everything. But I'm going to use this just because I feel like I haven't used it in a while on my channel. So I'm going to use my favorite shade, which is this one. This is J'adore. It does have a mirror, which is beautiful. And easy peasy, I go in with my ring finger. I'm just going to dip into it like this. And I like to start off right in the middle. Beautiful. It's like a burnt orange. It's also very easily blendable as well. And then all we gotta do is just blend it. So it does have a little bit of glitter in it, but it's not chunky glitter whatsoever. Also, what I always say for on the eyes. Um, so this is how it looks. I love it because it kind of gives you, let me zoom you in, gives you like this gorgeous wet look on the eye and it is quite glittery, but it's not a chunky glitter. Bring you guys back out. Sorry if you can hear my heater. I'm really, really cold. LA girl problems. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this same brush. I'm going to dip into... Mm, what shade is this? I think this is the shade FaceTime, which is this one right here. I'm going to go in with that brush, and I just want to deepen the corner here very lightly. I love it. Y'all need to get your hands on this. I know she's a little pricey. I think she's like $42, and... But it's good. If you like makeup and you love clean products and you love clean beauty and you just want something that's so freaking easy to use, this is it for you. Next up, highlight. What? Okay, so I have two different ones. Again, different consistencies. I have a cream that is my favorite and then I have a powder. For powder, my favorite one for 2019 is the Persona Cosmetics Zuma Cali Glow. Gorgeous, gorgeous highlight and then for cream it is by Kosas Cosmetics it is the high intensity cream product this is in the shade Equinox beautiful beautiful um, I think for today's look I will be using the Kosas Beauty highlight so I'm just going to use my ring finger again actually I'm just gonna dip in there and Set the highlight with the Cali Glow Persona Cosmetics. Ever so lightly, I'm going to use a Sigma brush. This is the F03. So lightly tap it and then just... For bronzer, I have a cream bronzer and I also have a powder one. For my powder, my favorite one is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker. This is in the shade Island Ting. What I love so much about this bronzer is how it like, it's kind of like a cream powder, if you will. It goes on as a powder, but it, it like blends so creamy. It's so buttery. It, it's so easy to blend. So this formula is beautiful. For cream, I love this. I think this was my last year's favorite bronzer. It's the Milk Makeup. Uh, matte bronzer. This is in the shade Baked. Also, super easy to blend. I love that it. I love how big it is. It, this has lasted me a really long time. Uh, so for today's look, I think I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna start off with 
the Milk Makeup. I use an angled brush today. This is by Bare Minerals. It is called the Blooming Blush Brush. All right, and then I'm just going to set it. Since I have my hair down, I kind of want to set it with like a powder. Um, so we're going to do the Fenty Beauty. For blush, I do have... I don't really have a favorite uh, powder blush. This is my favorite one. It's also a cream blush. It is by Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dawn. I love, I love cloud paint with all my heart. This has been a favorite since it came out. So I started the year 2020 loving the Elsie Lashful Mascara. I'm sure you guys remember seeing her a lot throughout 2019. It happened with this one. She's still really, really good, but it flakes a lot. So that's really annoying for me, and um, I just got kind of tired of it. So my new favorite holy grail is the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. She is just voluminous. She thick. I love it lasts all day doesn't flake and it doesn't weigh down my eyelashes so i'm gonna put some on and i'll be right back okay so that is for mascara my favorite lip product of the year i'm sure you guys have known is the kylie cosmetics uh lip liners the reason i love this so much is because of how creamy they are and i also really love these shades i haven't tried any other shades but these uh, this is Ice Latte and Coconut. I think for today I'm going to use Coconut. So I have a couple favorite like lip products. When it comes to a lipstick, my favorite one this year, it came out at the end of the year, but I just really can't put it down. Kosas Cosmetics um, Lipstick in the shade Vegas. I've really, really, really been loving this shade. I'm not sure how good it would look for this particular look today but my favorite lip glosses this year has been um i've been reaching for a lot for this one a lot it's the hourglass unreal um lip gloss in the shade strike looks like so and then i also really really been loving this she came out with this shade this year the dose of colors lip gloss in the shade macchiato i think i might use it for today's look oh yeah all right, y'all, so this finalizes my holy grail products of 2019, a full face. Um, first of all, I am very, very impressed with how this look came out. I love the way my skin looks. I love the way my eyes look, my lips, everything. Everything came out just the way I wanted. Let me know if any of these products were any of your favorites this year, what products are you wanting to try in the year 2020? I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much if you got to the end. If it was lengthy, I think it's lengthy. I'm gonna edit it as much as possible. I really hope that the year 2019 was a good one for you. And if it wasn't, I really hope and pray that 2020 will be your year. And I'll see you guys in my next video.